Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is going to be my February favorites, and yes, February favorites, and I'm wearing a tank top. I live in Phoenix. Let's process this. It's 84 today in Phoenix. 84 degrees. Yeah, so I'm wearing a tank top, and I'm enjoying it. I'm, I'm pasty because I haven't been out in the sun a whole lot since, you know, the last time it was really hot out, so I'm definitely uh, working on that, so. All right, let's go over my Fe February favorites and kind of talk about why, because I have like two major product groups, um, lips and cheeks. I don't know why, but apparently that's what I've been into this week. I usually have like a ton of eye favorites, but not this week. So skincare, lately I've been using the Clinique Moisture Surge Extended Thirst Relief Gel Cream um, Moisturizer, like Clinique. Sorry, my lighting's kind of washing it out, but um, I really like the smell. It's like light. feels really good. I've also been using the Bobbi Brown Hydrating Eye Cream. Um, this is a pricey product, but so far I think it works really well, so I'll keep using it till it's gone and then decide if it's worth the price to repurchase. So for lips, my favorites this month have been the Bite Beauty Luminous Cream Lipstick in Shiraz, and that's what's on my lips right now. Um, I've gotten some compliments on it. This is a uh, really pretty like everyday mauve color. It's just really easy to wear and I love it. I think that uh, I'm really glad that I've got colors like that and you'll notice a trend with what I've been wearing lately. This is the Sephora brand cream lip stain and this is in shade 13 Marvelous Mauve and huh, what do you know you put the two together they're pretty similar. And then I looked at my third favorite, which was this NYX Butter Gloss, and it's in the shade Praline. And you're like, hmm, they're all right in that mid-tone family. And my fourth lip favorite for the week or month is Anita by NARS, the NARS Audacious Lipsticks. Apparently I'm into this, like, mid-tone mauve family thing right now. I'm gonna go with it. Those are my four favorite lip products at the moment, and I've basically just been kind of rotating between the four, um, and like not letting it bother me that I'm wearing the same lip colors every day. I used to have to like feel the need to change my lip color, because if you have, I don't know how many, we'll just say 100. We'll say I have 100 lip products. If you have 100 lip products, they're all going to expire. Like you should use them, you know, you should use them all. Like try different stuff with every look. But these are the four that I've just been like gravitating towards big time this week. So, the next category is going to be cheeks. Now, apparently I have a thing for the cheek colors too because I have six of them I picked out for this week. And I'm just going to line them up for you and then you can see what I'm talking about. I have been into the same mauve pinky, purpley, neutrally color all month. Now these are just four of the six, but do you see what I mean? They're all like so similar. Um, so I have Tarte's Dazzled, which is a shimmery um, mauve color. And then I have Tarte's Exposed, a very neutral mauve color. I have two of the Instain blushes by The Balm. This one is Houndstooth, and this one is Pinstripe. Pinstripe. Hound's tooth, very similar. Then I have two of the NARS blushes, and you're going to see the same trend here. These are Sin and Deucer. Sin, Deucer. Very similar. And my last cheek favorite for the month is Benefit's Dallas Blush. And this one is like, it's what I have on right now. Just a very pretty, like, natural looking color. Benefit, um, the Sephora website describes it as a rosy bronze blush, and it is right in that same family. Like, I haven't been into berry blushes or pink blushes or coral. I've just been into this mid-tone mauve thing. I don't know. Are you guys in the same trend? Am I just, like, being led like cattle into what's popular right now, or is that just, like, what I've liked on myself? I don't even know anymore, but I really like this cheek. This is the um, Too Faced Endless Summer 16-Hour Bronzer with the Benefit Dallas blush, and for highlighter, I think I'm wearing this one, NARS Albatross blush, and it is really white. Like, you gotta be careful <laughs> when you apply this, but it just gives a nice, pretty glow. 
And as always, my Hula Benefit Bronzer. I have hit major pan on this and I don't see this becoming not my favorite anytime soon. It's still my favorite bronzer. Just enough cool tone to be um, a contour as well, but warm enough so I can still wear it. Now, Makeup Geek shadows in general are some of my favorites for the last month or so, but I would have to say if I had to pick like just a couple, um, I really, really, really like, I sound like the Spice Girls, what I really, really, really want, yeah, sorry, is Creme Brulee. This is the color that I've been using in the center of my hand. I've been using this one to fade out my eyeshadows um, and blend them out. And I just think that it is like the perfect crease transition shade. Um, and I, if I had to pick like, okay, if I had to pick five Makeup Geek shadows um, that I'd wear the most, I would say I would go with Corrupt because it really darkens any color. It's really, really black. Are you ready? Just tapped it. Okay, there's this, and then look. It's black, so um, I can use that with any any look to to really darken it. Um, I also would go with the um, the one I just showed you for my transition shade, Creme Brulee. Peach Smoothie's great, but not as good as the Hype was. Um, that's this one right here, and uh, it's just a nice transition color for me. It like hardly shows up, but um, and I also like Shimmer Shimmer a lot, and surprisingly, or not. Um, Country Girl, which is the same as all those other mauve colors I've been liking. I've been putting that on my eyes. So I've been doing like a very cohesive look with mauve lips, mauve blush, mauve stuff on the eyes. I don't know. I'm, And then maybe like a dark brown um, just to deepen it all like mocha, which is like the very center of the palette, dark brown. So that is it for the Makeup Geek shadows. Now I just have a couple of ColourPop shadows that I wanted to talk about because I think that they are excellent and I really recommend them. So this is the color Amira and it's the ColourPop Super Shock Shadows. Um, and let me just show you how beautiful this color is. Do you see it on my hand how glittery and shimmery it is? That's Amira. I just think that is like stunning, like drop, jaw dropping. Okay here's Fringe. And fringe looks like this. I haven't been that impressed with the mattes from ColourPop, the matte formula, but I really like the shimmery ones. So fringe is like a whitish color. Really a nice lid shade when you want kind of a bold, like fun, glittery eye. And I love Lectra. I don't wear it as much because of the color it is. It's like a cranberry color, but it's glittery. I like it, I just haven't worn it that much. My last favorite uh, for the month, well, I'll have a couple. One is going to be my new baby nephew. He was born on February 10th and is absolutely adorable. The, the cutest baby I've ever seen. And I'm not just saying that because he's my nephew. He actually is like the cutest baby. Um, and, and I would tell you, because I think some babies look really weird. Uh, not cute, but this one, he was pretty cute right away. Um, then my other favorite is the Jessup brushes I got off eBay. Um, I'm just going to show you a couple as, um, this is the Jessup powder brush. I use it for blush. This is the Jessup tapered face brush. I really like using this to set my face. Um, I really like the um, Jessup eye brushes. They mimic the Sigma ones like a lot. Um, this is the tapered blending brush by Sigma, the E40, and this is the small tapered blending brush by Jessup. I mean, they're really similar. Um, I love their Kabuki brushes and their setting brushes. They're just excellent for the price. I think they're about a dollar a brush, um, but you buy them in a set of like 10 or 15 brushes. So that is it for my February favorites. Let me know what you guys have been loving and I'll talk to you guys later. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Bye.